Hello guys, today's guide is for Easy Birdhouse Runs are great for new accounts with very low requirements and a very easy way of getting your hunter up at a very early level. They have very minimal requirements to do. I think it's one quest and a couple of other things, but I will take you through all the requirements. I will show you the XP per run that you get depending on the birdhouse that you use. And yeah, let's start with the requirements. So guys, the requirements are as follows. We have Bone Voyage, which requires 100 kudos and a dig site quest to be completed. Both reasonably low things to get completed on the account. The only basic levels that you need are 500 and 5 crafting for the basic birdhouses. And they increase as levels go up, which I will show you guys in just a second. Okay guys, required items. You need 4 logs, depending on your level and what birdhouse you're going to make. You're going to need four clockworks to start off with, but after, you don't need to bring any more. You just need them for the first run. You need 40 seeds of various types. I will list them in the description below. Uh, I use Olivia Seed Shop in Draenor for it. It is by far the easiest way of getting low-level seeds very quickly, and they're reasonably tr cheap for an Iron Man. You need a hammer, and you need a chisel. Other items that I'm not going to include because they're not technically required, but you could do with them, and they'll speed up your run are a dig site pendant and full grace fee. Okay guys, one of the things I would recommend doing as well is unlocking the mush trees around Fossil Island. Two of them significantly help the run and they can be found at the following places. I'll mark them on the screen now. You unlock these trees simply by using them once and they're really easy to get to. Uh, you just have to run around the map a little bit. So from where we are now, you need to run to the top left through the, ma uh, the mushroom meadow, I think it's called to the one in the top left and for the one in the bottom right you just need to go uh, up and around near the volcanic mine and then right way to the bottom once you use the trees once you'll never have to unlock them again which is a bonus and they can all be reached by going to this spot right here which is where the dig site pendant will allow you to teleport once you unlock it which i will show you how to do right now okay guys so here we are at the house where i marked red in the last clip uh, once you're here with a dig site pendant, all you have to do is take it off, right click it, press use, and use it on this book right here, which is for some reason called the Strange Machine. Uh, hang on, I've just unbind, unbound, unbinded. But yeah, when you do it again, it will bind the magic, and then you can teleport to the uh, house on the hill. It will just be called Fossil Island, but if you look, it teleports us right here. And as you can see, there's a mush tree there, so we can start our first ever run. Okay guys, so let's start our first run. For your inventory, you need your seeds, your hammer, your chisel, your mahogany logs, and your four clockworks. I don't have them because I already have some. I always go to Verdant Valley first, it just makes sense to me. All you need to do is uh, just go to the empty space and use your wood on your clockwork. That'll make the birdhouse, and then you just use whatever seed you brought. I use barley because they're the cheapest. And yeah, that's literally about it. So we go to the first birdhouse, then this one is the second. There are four in total. So we'll use that there. We'll use our seeds on it. And then we use the magic mush tree again, because this time it's in a different spot for the last two. So then we go to mushroom meadow, which is option number four. Uh, we go to up, just up here. And that's where our third birdhouse is. Literally guys, it's just such good passive XP. It is unreal. What I'll do is after this clip as well, I will throw in the XP rates per run. Bear in mind, a run takes maybe a minute and a half to two minutes. Uh, it is not difficult at all to be earning really good XP on the hour, every hour when these birdhouses are done. And our fourth birdhouse is just to the south. And that, guys, is all you have to do for a birdhouse run. So guys, right here is the XP per run in Hunter. You also get a little bit of crafting XP for each run you do, but it's not really worth adding up because it isn't a lot. But at level 5, you get 1.1k XP, 1.6 at level 14. Level 24 is 2.2. Level 34 is 2.8. Level 44 is 3.2. Level 49 is 3.8. Level 59 is around 4.1. Level 74 is 4.5, and level 89 is 4.8k. Guys, for passive XP, and for two minutes of your time, it is really worth doing these things. Obviously, as the levels increase, so does the different variety of birdhouse that you make. 
Uh, you do need crafting levels as well in um, conjunction with the hunter levels. But if you're a regular account, it won't be difficult for you to get your crafting level up. If you're an Iron Man, uh, personally, I've just naturally kind of done it. Like They've both evolved roughly at the same time because I train them my craft in a fair bit but i'd say if you just play your account normally you'll probably be able to do them as a base just make sure you have roughly between like 40 and 50 crafting that will be able that will mean that your level is high enough that you can do some of the half decent xps but remember guys your birdhouses can last um for an hour before being checked and once you check them it is easy xp for two minutes work you can earn like max 4.8k xp at top level which is ridiculously easy so guys that's really all i can say for a birdhouse guide um i hope it helped and if anybody else wants any more guys for some different stuff in the future just let me know it'll be really interesting to see what you guys want to know and what you guys want to see guides on or just any runescape videos in general but yeah have fun doing birdhouse runs get those easy gains and i'll see you all very soon